Good morning. It is Thanksgiving Day, 2020, November 26. And if you're happy to tune me in and are not with family or running around, well, we're glad to have you. Playing it safe today, maybe, and just staying home. We are. We're doing Zoom to a family, and, and that's fine. I suppose we miss having family around. So we'll see what we're going to do today. But in any fashion, I wanted to say good morning to you and wish you a great and wonderful Thanksgiving as we give the glory to God. I wanted to share with you Psalm 100. And if you're not familiar with this psalm, I bet there are parts of it that you would re recognize if you've been involved in the church very much. So Psalm 100, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. <clears throat> it is he who has made us, and we are his we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Well, God's sovereignty, God's will, God's thing over us throughout our lives. Uh, for those of us who wish to seek after him, I found this prayer and I thought you might enjoy hearing it. It's a prayer that talks about the ebb and flow of life. And so just, just listen a little bit to it, would you? It starts, Dear Lord, today I thought of the words of Vincent van Gogh. It is true that there is an ebb and flow, but the sea remains the sea. You, O oh God, are the sea. Although I experience many ups and downs in my emotions, and often feel great shifts and changes in my inner life. You remain the same. Your sameness is not the sameness of a rock, but the sameness of a faithful lover. I am sustained and your love is, excuse me, I am sustained and to your love I am always called back. My only real temptation is to doubt your love, to think of myself as beyond your love, to remove myself from the healing radiance of your love. To do these things is to move into darkness of despair. O oh Lord, sea of love and goodness, let me not fear too much. The storms are the winds of my daily life. And let me know that there is an ebb and flow, but the sea remains the sea. Amen. Isn't that a beautiful thought? Through the ebb and flow, maybe for Thanksgiving you have had trials or going, many different things that have come your way. Um, perhaps trials that have come from loss of loved ones. But there's an ebb and flow and God's love is consistent. He's like the sea, still there, still involved, still part of our lives. Dear Lord, I thank you for this Thanksgiving day. It is unusual because so many of us are concerned about COVID, we're staying home. Others are venturing out, but trying to be as safe as they can. So Lord, we ask for your mercy in protecting us. We thank you that you are faithful. You are there like the sea. And the ebb and flows of our life are nothing to you. So, Lord, get, Lord, give us the grace to be through today. We thank you on this Thanksgiving Day and to give glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Even on Thanksgiving Day, I have my allergy. <laughs> so, I, can, no, I should be grateful for that, I suppose. All right, have a great Thanksgiving Day. God bless you. And hopefully you can join us uh, Saturday for our worship service at 11 a.m. Eastern Time.
It'll be on Facebook, so watch for announcements. I'll share it with you. All right. Have a great day, and God bless.